As the design process progresses, polygons can pile up on the board. Do you have a bunch that need managing? Do you want to create new ones? The Polygon Manager can help. To access the Polygon Manager, use Tools, Polygon Pours, Polygon Manager. The list of polygons is presented in tabular form. They are grouped by layers. When you select a polygon, it is displayed in the preview window. Polygon names can be changed as desired. The columns show the area in square millimeters, net name, etc. When you select a polygon, its properties are displayed on the section on the right. This panel is identical to the properties panel. Here we can change the parameters of the polygons. We'll enable the removal of unused copper for the first polygon. For the second polygon, we'll change the type to hatched. Click the Apply button to apply the changes. Once polygon parameters have been changed, you'll need to repore it. The Is Modified column will display polygons that need reporting. The Report button will allow you to control the reporting process. Let's choose to repor all polygons. In the Shelved column, you can enable or disable the display of the polygon pour on the board. The shelving button allows you to quickly turn on the display of all polygons. Click the Apply button to apply changes. The Locked column allows you to enable or disable the locking of the vertices of the polygon. And you can use the Locking button for the same purpose. The Ignore Online DRC Violations column and the Violations button controls the enabling or disabling of the online DRC for violations of gaps and short circuits. You can also create design rules in the Polygon Manager. With the Shift button, you can select several polygons and create a clearance rule for them by clicking on the New Clearance Rule button. It will automatically create a custom query with the selected polygon specified. Set the clearance, click OK to create this rule. The New Connect Style button allows you to create a new rule that defines how selected polygons connect to pads. Select the desired connection style, Click OK, the rule will be created. Using the new Polygon Class button, you can create a new class from the selected polygons. The class will need to be given a name. These new classes can be used in design rules. The New Polygon button allows you to create new polygons based on an existing selected polygon, and the shape and the properties of this polygon will be copied. You can also create a new polygon defined by the extents of the board by selecting the Board Outline option. The polygon will appear in the list. We change its layer to bottom, and we also need to remember to assign a net to it. If you want to delete a polygon, click on it with the right mouse button and select Delete. The Pour Order column shows the order in which the polygons will pour on the board. To see the polygons on the desired layer, you must select at least one polygon from that layer. Polygon Pour Order is important for overlapping polygons. The Animate Pour Order button allows you to visually see the polygon pour order. The order can be changed by moving the polygons in the list with the Move Up or Move Down buttons. The Auto Generate button creates an automatic polygon pour order, arranging them in the order of increasing area. Click OK to apply all the changes and exit the manager. So now we can see how the Polygon Manager can help you create and manage the polygons on your board. Thanks for watching. Next up, Polygon Connect Style.